Hi guys, welcome to David Christopher's YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put this tree inside of this drum. So this drum is solid on this side, you know, drum ready. And the other side is open like a planter, so it's a fiberglass planter and can be used either way. But we're going to be putting this Christmas tree inside of this planter. So to do that, we're going to be using styrofoam, this green foam that everybody loves. I don't know, somebody commented they, it was evil foam, so I don't, I don't know, I guess everybody doesn't love it. Uh, I'll plug it up after I've got it in the container. So to do this, we're going to be filling as much square inch of this container as we possibly can, but we're putting square inside a square peg in a round hole. So that means what we really want to do is we want to cut something that will fit most of the space. I'm not going to go through time to actually cut a round uh, piece. So we're just going to cut something that mostly fits and then I'm going to cut the corners off. Dish. But save those corner pieces because if it doesn't go all the way to the edge everywhere, we're just going to wedge those in. So I don't know if you can see this, I'm going to try and show you. Anywhere like on this side, it doesn't go all the way to the out side edge. I'm just going to push that in a little tight. It's a little hard to do while holding it. Um, but we're going to do that all the way around and we're just going to stack, 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 stack styrofoam all the way up to almost the top. Okay, we've got this drum pretty much full of styrofoam. We left just about an inch at the top that did not go all the way uh, to the rim. So this thing, and I've, I've crammed styrofoam when I got to my top layer. I crammed styrofoam everywhere I could in the top layer because we're going to be putting a, you know, Christmas tree, 70, 60 pounds, whatever, little styrofoam in the tree, in this. And this holds really well. Um, I do recommend that, like, I'm putting this in the store. I'll probably anchor the tree to the wall with a screw and some wire. But... Uh, I've done this for uh, people where it holds very well. So the first thing that we're really going to do is we're going to start in the very center with our knife and just kind of make a small incision, you know, because this is Christmas tree surgery. And I just make a small square. Kind of going around it. And eventually, you can pry some of this up. It's not the easiest thing, but you'll get a nice little square out of that. And just go about as far down as you can. Really, we're trying to get that. Christmas tree pole, a nice little stable space. You don't want it very wide because you don't want it to be so wide it's got any wiggle room. So this is just giving you a little bit of a guide to go down into the styrofoam. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen our Christmas tree stand from the screws that are in the Christmas tree keeping it in the stand. If I can reach them. So that this will slide out. But I'm trying to show you how we're going to just lift this. 
and then we have that spike on the end of our tree that's just going to go right down into our guide and then really from here we're just pushing trying to get that all the way down in there christmas tree in our urn so jen can't be here with me today because it is saturday she's you know someone has to be with her kids at some point and uh so i have guest stand-ins to help me with the video courtney and shay are apparently shuffling their way over here hello everyone <laughs> I don't think that's all for them, so thanks for the help. Anytime. We're going to start by adding some of our green tinsel spray. This is a must have if you're using anything in emerald. To our glitter stripe silver gold black ribbon. So it's just a, a black ribbon with silver and gold stripes on it, but that works really well with our drum. So we're going to be putting this in the tree next. I forgot what I was going to eat. We'll just grab some. So this is a great piece with really big emerald sequins on it and it has red glitter balls on the outside. So that's going to be a lot of fun in the tree and give us a little more of that emerald. Okay, so we're at that part of the video where Jen's usually trying to explain to people that we are decorating in a store. While we are telling you how you can decorate your tree, we're not telling you you should necessarily decorate your tree this way. If you choose to, great. If not, we do sell a lot of people store displays and nobody wants to go to the, you know, Toys R Us store in New York and see like, or I guess that's not there anymore, but the Lego store and see like, oh, they made a little house out of Legos. They want to see they made King Kong on the Empire State Building out of Legos. So, you know, we have to do things that are kind of outlandish sometimes because people want something crazy to see when they come to the store. So sometimes we use large balls that I will sometimes use in people's houses but it just depends on the circumstances. So you can use as large of things as you want on your tree. You don't have to feel judged by anyone. But for all those people that are like, oh, that's not Christmas. That's not, you know, Christmas should be little tiny ornaments on their tree. Well, that's great if that's what you want to do. You know, that's, uh, I, I think that's great. Jen and I do that, a lot of that at home ourselves for our Christmas. But at the same time, if you go to New York and walk down, you know, Saks Fifth Avenue and, you know, some of those Lord and Taylor kind of places, you don't want to see just a tree with a little tiny stuff on it. You want to see something grand and spectacular. So sometimes it takes larger things to do something really incredible. Sometimes it just takes a mass of small things, but it's up to you. Everything is subjective in this industry. It's, you know, your color scheme can work for you and not for me. And mine can work for me and not for you. So you can do whatever you want to do. I'm going to be adding some red to our tree. And not just any red. We're going to be using a 12 inch shiny finish ball uh, to add to our tree. And I know this may be too large for some of you. But for us and our store, you know, this is what people want to see is something, you know, spectacular. So we're going to be adding a few of these larger ornaments. And then we're going to scale down just a little bit. So we are going from 12 inch shiny finish to 10 inch mercury finish red and we're going to add a couple of these.
Now we're scaling down again, keeping with our mercury finish red balls, we're going to a five and a half inch set. For our last scale down, we're gonna use our four inch set. Now we're gonna go back in for more emeralds. So we're gonna be using a five and a half inch uh, mercury finish green, uh, plastic mercury. And then we're gonna be using a four inch, I love these new sequin balls. We have a five and a half inch and a four inch. And they have different sequins and they even have like dark green uh, beads on them, like little plastic beads. But those have great texture to them. We're gonna add these. Now that I've got a really good base layer of red and emerald, I'm going to go back to make our drum and our ribbon make a little more sense. While I'm recent reinforcing some of the black and white, I used our 8 inch striped white and black glitter ball, and now I'm going to be using our checkered ball and four inch. And of course we wouldn't be almost finished with our ornaments if I didn't add some glittery blingy sequin red. three more items to add to our tree before we're pretty much finished with it. So I'm going to show you all three of those. We're going to use this tinsel ball spray that has three, pretty large, like a four, four and a half inch uh, tinsel ball on it. And these are great for if you don't want to keep adding ornaments, but you want kind of the look of ornaments, those are a great add-in for that kind of thing, because it looks like you added more ornaments. And then we're going to use our, uh, this is, it's kind of a candy, chenille candy cane spray. So it's got three different curls on it. But it's got kind of a puffy fabric and uh, a chenille fabric kind of mixed together. And then we're gonna use our red magnolia in the tree just to fill in some of those gaps. And then we'll be almost finished. Last thing I'm going to be doing is just adding a little bit more of my striped ribbon because in some places I've hidden it a little bit, uh, just been adding uh, some of our other items. So it works really well to do it when you start, but it also works well to do it when you end. So I guess I'm going to do both. So I did want to show you guys something that I was going to attempt for our one of our store displays this year. I'm going to be using our drums and like I said, fiberglass. So we're going to take a drill and we're going to go through our drums. I actually do a couple of spots just for some reinforcement. And that way, we can screw these to the wall and have planters or shelves on the wall. To 
decided to turn one of them upside down. So I've got more of a shelf. So let's talk real quick about decorating garlands. Uh, as you can see, I have added a little bit of a garland hanging from one of my drones and just kind of having fun with it. Eventually, I'll probably add some nutcrackers with our garland. But decorating garland really quick, one of the easiest things you can do is ball garland or in this case, bulb garland. So this has red, green, and gold bulbs, like plastic uh, bulbs with silver glitter um, on the part that would be the screw-in part. And this is something really easy that you can add really quickly. I did add uh, a few things, as you can tell, to the one that I flipped upside down. It's more of a planner, and then I'll use this one more as a shelf. But I have added our bulb garland that um, is nice and wired. So good thing about that is they don't just hang from like a plastic stem where you can't really do a whole lot with it. They are completely wired, so you can shape them really whichever way you want to. And then I'm going to be adding some more emerald and things to make it match our tree a little bit more. Now I'm going to add some of our striped ribbon. I'm going to add just a little bit more red to our garden. Now we're going to add a few of these guys. One more thought before we get out of here. Um, I know it's an interesting time in the world. I know a lot of you probably watch the news or listen to it. Sometimes I do, don't like to, because it depresses me sometimes. So sometimes I'm reminded of what uh, David said in the Psalms. It's uh, praise the Lord, O my soul. And to me, I think he was, he was trying to remind himself that no matter what's going on in his life, you still have a reason to praise the Lord. And sometimes you have to remind yourself, I can still praise the Lord through no matter what I'm going through. And I hope that encourages you that uh, if Romans 8, 28 is true, that in all things, God is seeking your good and his glory, then in all things, good or bad, you know that he is always working all things out, even though it doesn't always make sense to us because it doesn't always make sense to me but he is knitting together the tapestry of the universe for your good and his glory. I know it's been a struggle I know you've had some pain I know you feel tired, held down by all the weight. Yeah, I know you feel lonely. Your smile ain't the same. I saw you where to go from here. I feel like you've lost your way.
inside you Child, you're putting up a fight Oh, you're stronger than you think you are Yeah, you're gonna be alright You're accepted, loved, and valued Beautiful, you're shining bright Yeah, you're living, breathing, moving You can hold your head up high Don't give up, no, don't give in Never lose hope, don't let 